Could do my Kevin Clements parody now. Hi, it's Kevin. <laughs> it's Christian. Hey, go on. <laughs> Clements Homebrew. I'm in at you. All right. Today we're we're coming at you with a beaker. That's right. We bought one. Woo! We've never actually done a yeast starter before. Hey, you need more? Just get two packs. But but yeah, we need we need a. We need like a two liter yeast starter for our SJ pour experiment. Because we're true. making a big beer. So, you know, hey. So we're learning. We're yeah, learning. Cool. You know. We're gonna watch this close because we've got kind of gotten towards that boil over end there just a moment ago. So it's looking vigorous. Enough. <laughs> Good enough for us. <laughs> yeah, we got the time we're going. So, but anyways, we, we just want to say, you know, the things that we talk about doing, we live them. We really do. We do. Yes. And one of the things we talk about doing is working on the palate. Yes. I love working on my palate. Yeah, it's just it's one of the great joys. What do we got? Let's take a look here. So look at this. Ooh, what do we ooh, got? Ah, ooh. Well, you're, you know, you're the guy that knows the produce. That's so true. Well. I am the produce guy. We have champagne mangoes, or champagne mangoes, as oh, we yeah. call them. Very flavorful. Has a little bit brighter palette, um, a little bit smoother. Um, then we got uh, muscat grapes. Muscat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like the muscat wines and, then, and so uh, forth. And then we got... Um, and by the way, I had the dogfish head muscat one recently. I think oh, this is a crazy. Fairchild tangerine. I can't remember. I was just like, ooh, tangerine. Woo got the new countertops down. The new sure granite countertops, do. but the red is going away. I've got some stuff to cover that later. i got towel work coming. Alright, so... Oh yeah, have to keep our eyes on this. Oh. Juice. What do you think about it? If you're familiar with the the you know late harvest muscat wines mm -hmm. and things, it has yeah. that that taste to it. I mean, oh, it's a little different. Yeah. But our our timer's off. We've been we've been boiling long enough. And we're gonna let it cool. And then we're, we're gonna, gonna put it into an ice bath. Yeah. And then uh, once it gets down to the 70, 80 range, we're gonna throw in our yeast and then uh, top it up with some foil and mm -hmm. start the swirl. I don't, I haven't made the chill, the little plate yet, so I'll have to. That'll be a future project, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, that was the portion of fruit, but you know what? We like to expand our palates in all ways. And maybe this might not come into the beer aspect, but gosh darn it. But pairing. It. But it's all about pairing. And so pairing. So, you know, when you think about all this good good stuff, one of the big things besides foods, they do a lot more pairing with cheese. Mmm. Wouldn't it make it a lot easier if you just put the beer into the cheese? Hells yeah. Yeah. So I that's what so. we got. We've got uh we've got some Guinness Porter mm -hmm. Cheddar. It's from Old Irish Creamery. Marbling. And mm. uh, has Guinness oh. in it. And we had a taste of this before we bought it. Oh my. Because, you know, the cheese guy was only too happy to try it with us. Well, we remember Christian's oh. tip. Mm. Doesn't matter if you're in the produce area or the cheese area. They want to try it too. They do. They really do. He hadn't tried it yet. <laughs> of course, he's gonna sample it with us. them. Yeah. Wow, this is freaking delicious. It's really creamy. Oh my God. And you get the little bits of Guinness in there. Oh, this is gonna go good with dinner. This doesn't count as cheating, guys. I don't think there's any alcohol. No content. alcohol. He's safe. He just gets all the flavor. Mm. I'll leave that big one for you, cause mm. you know you're you're dying for that. Oh, that's. <laughs> That's so creamy and cheddary. Mm. That's delicious. By the way, hold this a minute. I got something for him. Mm. Don't mind if I do. I love cheese. Put Guinness and cheese and cheddar. Delicious. Mm. I figured Christian needed a cold brew. You know, I mean, he, it's been it's been you know six weeks now when you watch this. 
So I got him a cold brew. Stumptown Roasters cold brew. Oh my, look at that. Yeah. These guys have worked with a lot of brewers on uh, coffee going into beers. Mm -hmm. But here it is. So that's for you, son. I love oh, you. thank you. I might just bust it open here in a little but bit. But I, I like this cheese, too. <laughs> oh my god, that is good cheese. You know, I'm not going to go without. I've been wanting to try this one. This is Lagunitas Undercover Investigation Shutdown Ale. All right, there you go. This is a, this is a, a 6 66.6 .6 IBUs, 9.6 ABV, and this is supposed to be a strong ale. Cheers. I guess we should probably put this in a cup. It's got a really nice pour. I mean, this, unfortunately, no head. I'm thinking about reviewing this one, so. But he can review that one. Oh. oh, oh it oh. smells really good for a coffee, actually. Oh. It's just cold coffee, but it really tastes like the beans. Actually, give that a little swirl. It tastes like the beans. It's gonna be hard after 66 IBUs. That's really, really good coffee. Wow, it does. It, it really... Wow. There's no... There is no bitterness. They definitely no. cold brewed this. Yeah, they cold brewed it. My God, you know what? I don't have to worry about going out and cold brewing coffee. I can just go out and buy some of these bottles and yeah. pour it in next time I want that. Yeah, this is fantastic. You know what? You guys can check out... We're going to be throwing on some... Uh, Brew video. Six weeks for this guy. Yeah. Doing good. Uh, but we're going to throw some brew video on because we're, we'll show you our brewing up our big, big, big stout mm -hmm. for the uh, contest. Wow, that was fantastic. Meanwhile, we're going right, to eat guys. manja. Oh, gosh, that's good. You want more? Well, it's SJ Poor Experiment Day. Yes, it is. And we're, we're making a behemoth beer. Yeah. And I we just, spend all day just looking at stuff. I <laughs> know. Uh, well, we, we did some other crazy things. Yeah. Hopefully it all worked in this thick guy because 18 pounds, almost six gallons. We're pushing the limits here. We're pushing the limits. But you know what? We're not going to buy more. We already spent enough money. What the hell? You know what? Uh, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> All right, here we are. We are now pouring the grains into our 163.2 degree Fahrenheit water, which will drop down, we know, to about 152. And we're talking, we're not sure if it's all going to fit because this is 18 pounds of grains. God, I love it. It smells awesome. God, that smells good. Let Dad catch up with the stirring before I polish him off. Well, there you go. And with those oats in there and everything, we're going for a 90 minute mash. Once we get it all mixed in, that might take a little while. Oh, definitely. I'm gonna be sitting for one of those giant mash paddles, Harry. <laughs> yeah, no joke. This is ridiculous. This is awesome, is what this is. Mmm, I think some spent grain pizza is in order after this one. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 At least some bread or something. This I've is been, the best cereal I've ever smelled. I, I think oh we're gonna God. be making some bread or something. Jeez Louise. By the way, I really liked the idea by um, uh, uh, by Glenn, Home Beer Brewery, of taking spent grains and going to the park and feeding the ducks and geese. That was freaking awesome. My grandson will get out on that one. We are at 152. Bam. Boom. 
And by the way, uh, we took our two thermometers, actually a third one, but it's super slow. We're going to get rid of that one. But we, we took our various thermometers and we checked them and they were like all in sync, saying the same temp. So I think we're dialed in happy there. That's a Ooh, good, good Got our 90-minute timer on. We're going to stir to help with efficiency since this is so huge. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to stir... 30 minutes in and then 60 minutes in. You know, the, the Usually two... Usually it's time to drink and uh, I can't do that. We really are such noobs, but we're having fun. <laughs> Always. At least we remember to sanitize stuff. Yeah. Right? We're good there, I think. We have a massive starter going on, too. It's like crazy big. Alright, I got something special here. A little surprise for Christian. This is an idea that came from Norfolk Hillbilly. This is a little tea thing, and I have just jam-packed this sucker full of some fresh Simcoe that we just got. Some leaf hop. And this is a bottle of 7-Up. <laughs> and this is what uh, Norfolk Hillbilly calls Hopped Up 7-Up. Oh yeah, baby. That's crazy. We're going to see how this comes out. I'm going to let this uh, sit in here for a little bit and we'll bring out Christian. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Here. Here's, here's his 7-Up hopped with Simcoe. Oh, I got to be a treat. Alright, so of course it's the uh, 30 minutes in. Uh, a little past. Well, pass. Someone's timer isn't working. He's watching basketball. Yeah, yeah, it happens. So this is Simcoe, huh? Dad put some hops in my 7-Up. That's tasty. We just took, uh, just one of those tea things, put some hops in, and uh, Dad's been stirring it for me. It's intriguing. It's kind of like a tea. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's that's beautiful and dark, isn't it? Christian's got his coffee going. Yuppers. That is uh that's sweet looking. That's clear as can. That's coming out really nice. We're gonna. It's gonna get a nice grain bed filter. Uh, hopefully we sh can get some really good efficiency with our sugars. So, uh, we'll see. Going mobile here. We got Hockey's new what Vaughn, whatever it's called, channel playing in the background there. So, anyway, this is looking awesome. It's smelling crazy good too. Oh yeah, effect of the oats there. I'm getting happy and more happy by the moment. Dude, 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 dude. Get the, uh, get the thing, get the damn thing. Where's the, 